Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. And if you're not aware by now, I'll be launching a second DIY channel dedicated to kids, DIYs, playrooms, bedrooms, decor, and more. I'll have that link below if you would like to subscribe ahead. For this DIY, I'll be making a chain link table. If you would like to see what I came up with, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be using five 10 inch round styrofoam rings. Next, I'll start positioning them in place just to have a mental picture of what I'm working with. Once I was satisfied with my placement, I'll be inserting three toothpicks on the side of the styrofoam. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next I'll be using my long ruler just so I'll have a straight line going down and then I'll start pushing them in together. The remainder of this DIY I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Halfway through I'll be applying hot glue and then I'll continue pushing them together and this will be for a better hold and I'll repeat the same steps on the rest. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Once I'm satisfied with the top two placements of the styrofoam rings, I'll mark my placements. Next, I'll take toothpicks and I'll cut them in half and I'll place them in the center of each marking. Next, I'll take the top two rings and place them over the toothpicks and then I'll press down gently. Next, I'll add hot glue in between for a better hold. Next, I'll add some weight and let it dry completely. So I'll be using two wooden rods that I purchased from Walmart and I'll put them both together make sure they're both even and then I'll take my measurements and cut them to the length that I need and to cut them I use a handsaw next I'll start with the first rod and I'll be using mask and tape to level out my rings Next, I'll be placing markings on the rod so I know where to apply my hot glue. I repeated the same steps on the opposite side. Once I was done, I flipped it over to the back side and added more hot glue for a better hold. Next, I'll be using clear school glue and a brush and I'll be applying a generous amount on the rings and on the rods.
When applying a generous amount of school glue, it will protect the styrofoam from melting and it will give it an extra shine. I took it to a well ventilated area and applied two coats of metallic silver. Next I'll be using mini self adhesive mosaic stickers and I'll be cutting them into single strips and then I'll be applying them around each ring. I'll be leaving the middle spaces where they connect empty. Next I took mirror reflection paper and postal board, cut it to size and then I cover all three with mirror reflection paper. Next I took all three strips and I glue them around the center of all three rings where they connect. On the center of all three, I'll be applying three strips of mini mosaic stickers. Next, I'll be using four clear plastic dessert bowls, and I'll be using these to make legs for the table. I'll be using stones to fill in each bowl and then I'll glue them as I go. Next I use foam board and I took one of the bowls and traced four circles and then I cut them out and I'll be using these as lids. Once I was done, I took them out and spray painted two coats of metallic silver. Next, I'll be using a wood sheet, three painter sticks, and Gorilla wood glue. I had this board and it's kind of flimsy, so I want to make it strong and I'll be applying the three painter sticks. Once I was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and applied two coats of metallic silver only on the side with the painter sticks. So I took my base and I placed it in the center making sure both sides are even and then I traced the rods. Next I took my drill and I'll be drilling holes in the center of each circle. Next, I'll be covering the opposite side with mirror reflection paper. Next, I use the same attachment for my drill to make the holes again through the paper. I repeated the same steps on the bottom wood baseboard. 
I also pre-drill holes on both ends of each rod. I attach the board and the rods together using 2 inch screws. I also attach the bottom legs to the bottom base using hot glue and screws but unfortunately I lost that clip. I also apply single strips of mosaic stickers on the top edge and bottom base. And here is the finished look. I really do love the way this table turned out. It's so stunning and unique and it reminds me of a chain link jewelry piece. If you are a jewelry gland queen, then this is the right side table for you. The flower bouquet lamp you see on top is another DIY I created and I'll have that link below. As for the core, if you notice I added small mirrors on the top and small mirrors on the bottom. This was such a very interesting DIY to create and I enjoy every step. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.